Welcome back. Well, 36 drivers are spending 10 days on the track in Calgary going for Chuck Wagon glory. And it all kicked off last night with day one of the GMC Rangeland Derby. 10 drivers from the CPCA are down south to the big dance and they were providing some stiff competition on opening night. Let's take you to the track. We'll show you Heat 4 featuring a pair of CPCA faces. Devin Mitsuing was going off of four while Wayne Knight, fresh off his Onion Lake win and track record, was going off the two barrel. Rick Frazier and Jordy Fike were the other two representing the WPCA. The horn sounds and the charge is a quick one. And that's Wayne Knight Weatherford off the two barrel with Rick Fraser, Northwell Oil Field hauling as they come out on that track side by each. Wayne Knight with the early lead, Jordy Fike in behind with Cole Angus, and he is got company coming on the inside. That'll be Devin Mitzwing, Apple Creek, Gulfport. But look at these two cowboys on the front end dueling out. Rick Fraser has the rail with Northwell Oil Field, but he's given up a nose lead on the outside to Wayne Knight. Apple Creek Golf Club as he sets up for the home stretch drive. Wayne Knight leads the way with Weatherford. Southbound and down the uncatchable Wayne Knight. He opens him up a notch over Rick Fraser as he heads for the wire. It'll be Wayne Knight and Weatherford. Rick Fraser, look at this race. Sneaking in in third is Devin Mitzwing. The St. Wahlberg star wins Heat 4 with a run of 113.78, getting the 57-year-old into the top 10 on opening night. So let's take a look at the best five times from Friday. Kirk Sutherland came in with the quickest time earning the Grand Prairie product day money. Jerry Bremner comes in second with a 112.79 and Ray Mitsuing is the highest CPCA driver after a day on the track, sitting tied for third with Luke Tournier at a 113.33 while Rangeland rookie Chris Molly rounds out the top five with his 113.33. Now Wayne Knight sits ninth after his Heat 4 win. Day 2 gets underway at 8 o'clock tonight and we will have results, results for you tomorrow on Newcap Sports. Over to football now, the schedule makers haven't been very kind to the Lloyd Minster Vandals. We're already into week 5 of the Alberta Football League season and after 3 straight games on the road and a bye week, the Green and Black finally had their home opener today. The Central Alberta Buccaneers made the trip to the border city and the 0-3 Vandals had their sights set on win number 1. Ah, we'll pick it up 6-0 Bucks in the second quarter. Cole Stewart drops back and finds a wide open Jamie Blinkhorn. He takes a pigskin to pay dirt. It's 13-0 visitors. Still in the second, the team from Central Alberta knocking on the doorstep. Stewart looks end zone for Josh Sorensen. The catch is good, increasing the lead to 20 zip. That's where it was at halftime. It is currently 27-13 late in the fourth quarter. Reed Coleman and Mike Holman have the scores for the green and black. We'll have a final for you on Late Night Sports.